South Africa has already, ha already has 50 COVID-19 deaths and more than 2,700 infections. Health experts say the elderly, those living with chronic illnesses such as cancer, TB and HIV, are at a greater risk of contracting the virus with dire consequences. So to get the latest, we're joined now by public health physician Professor Andrew Robinson. Professor, thanks a lot for joining us this evening. The major focus, particularly for this week, as articulated by Professor Abdul Karim, was to reduce the rate of infection. The question is, are we making headway with that agenda? Uh, good evening, yes, and um, thank you for this opportunity to contribute uh, a, a public health perspective. And um, I'd like to just start by giving a shout out to all the um, health, public health and uh, health workers, healthcare workers across the country who are doing a tremendous job in uh, managing the epidemic uh, in the clinics, hospitals um, and care homes and in particular the community health workers and what um, the COVID team has done really well and no one else in the world has done it is the active case finding and that has um, flattened the curve and given us a little bit of breathing space in which to prepare for the for winter which is coming uh, as you know these respiratory infections are uh, most severe during the colder months and those are still still to come to us so i think we have done really well as a country and uh, the team is on, on the right track they're doing uh, everything according to basic epidemiological outbreak control um, and they're going according to the book and it's working well. Are we seeing an increase, a decrease though, Professor, in terms of the rate of infections? This was supposed to be the critical week to determine whether or not an extension or a further extension will be imminent. And simply because the 16th of uh, April was supposed to be when certain number of screenings was actually conducted. So are we making headway? Are we seeing a decrease in the rate of infections? Uh, we still need to uh, in increase the uh, active case finding and to determine whether the flattening of the curve uh, is, is going to be sustained. And uh, at the moment, there seems to be a, a relatively constant rate of, of uh, new infections, which means that uh, the upward trajectory, the exponential curve uh, uh, angle has been has been addressed the issue is how, how long to keep uh, keep these lockdown um, conditions in place because it's going to be a balance between uh, the reality out there the social socioeconomic conditions of people who uh, really cannot survive uh, with without uh, the informal uh, sector income uh, our uh, social security system is is not as uh, geared as um, uh, it, 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 it can be to provide the safety net needed uh, in, in such a short period to, to prevent all those um, uh, socioeconomic uh, uh, conditions related to poverty and, and uh, food, uh, food security. Mm. Prof, I mean, we've seen uh, the increase in number of screenings that have taken place as well as tests that have been conducted. Really, the question is, the number of tests that have been conducted, are they enough to actually determine the true nature of the pandemic that we're dealing with in the South African context? Uh, not really. Um, we, we don't know how the virus is going to uh, interact with our HIV epidemic, uh, our TB epidemic. Um, and also the, the demographic profile of the country is a lot of younger people as compared to the, the northern hemispheres. So it's, re it's really untested. Um, uh, the uh, task team in place is, is aware of it. And all they can do is wait on the data and respond as the findings come in. There's, uh, one can make projections, one can estimate, but the true, um, the, the true uh, reality will only come once the data is in and uh, the ep epidemic is, is firmly estab established uh, in, in the months to come. So, so far we're doing all we can with the resources that we've got.
Mm. Professor Andrew, we're going to leave it there for now. Professor Andrew Robinson, for our public health specialist, giving us the latest there in terms of how we're faring uh, with COVID-19.